Azar and I'm professor at Oxford University. Much of my professional life is spent explaining data and decision to a wider audience. So when the pandemic began, I become interested in helping people better understand how the COVID-19 vaccine works. The COVID-19 vaccine stimulates the immune system so that if we are exposed to the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, the body can respond to the COVID-19 infection. Various platforms such as R and a genetic sequencing, viral vectors deactivating viruses and protein substance have been used to provide safe and effective coronavirus vaccine. It gives you the best protection against COVID-19. The vaccine that available in Malaysia is Pfizer-BioNTech, AstraZeneca and Sinovac. I'm not here to tell you which type of vaccine to choose that it and should be your own choice. However, the best vaccine for you is the one available to you right now. What we all can agree on is that all vaccines have been shown to have effectiveness against the current variant of concern. Emerging evidence also indicate that vaccines help to prevent transmission or spread from person to person. Getting your vaccine as soon as you can not only prevent you from getting ill, but it will also prevent further variant of concern from developing and will help us to all achieve community immunity sooner. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to Fatin channel. Today's video is very short and simple explanation regarding the benefits of receiving the COVID-19 vaccine versus the disadvantages of not receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. I feel called to make this video because the number of COVID-19 cases is increasing day by day in our country. This is so worrying. The objective of this video is to spread awareness to all of you. Without wasting time, let's move to the benefits. 1. To help to stop the pandemic. Once you are vaccinated, you reduce your chances Woo! of being infected with the COVID-19 virus. This will protect those at risk and those who cannot be vaccinated. Newborns, elderly, and pregnant women are an example. In other words, you are helping to stop the pandemic and the virus from spreading. Second, to aid in the development of the immune system and antibodies. Vaccine will protect our natural immune system. As an outcome, it will strengthen our antibodies and protect us from the virus. Vaccine act as shields, preventing our natural immune system from becoming infected. In short, we have twice the protection if we are vaccinated. Last but not least, vaccine is safe and effective. The vaccine has been clinically tested and found safe to be used. The vaccine effectiveness will be evident in about two weeks and it is well known throughout the world. This suggests that vaccine is safe. It is indeed free for all of us. Okay, I'm done with the benefits. Now let's move to the disadvantages. One, risk of infection. Why? Because recently the virus has shown no symptoms in human. You may be unaware that you are infected. Those who have not been vaccinated are more likely to get infected than those who have been vaccinated. As a sequence, it will increase the number of COVID-19. If you are infected, you will begin a new cluster of COVID-19. This will have an effect on your surroundings as well. For instance, your family, your friends, co-workers and others. So the government will take action by doing MCO to control the cases. This will lead to disrupt the country's economic development. 
what is the relationship between not getting a vaccine and country's economic? The answer is, if a lot of people are not vaccinated, it will develop the two disadvantages I have mentioned earlier. Therefore, our country is unable to carry out the operations. As a result, many of the most important industries will be impacted. Services, trade, manufacturing, and tourism are just a few examples. These sectors account majority for the national economy's output. Okay, that's all for today's video. I hope this video enlightens and assures all of you about the benefits of vaccine. Let's get vaccinated. Lindung diri, lindung semua. Stop. Before I end this video, I have reminder for all of you. Please and please wear face mask and follow the SOP. We can fight this. Adios. Peace out. Press the like button, share and subscribe. Thank you. Hi Wani, let me explain about the side effect. COVID-19 vaccine is completely safe. It undergo many tests to ensure that they are safe and effective. Having side effects after every vaccination are normal. It is a sign that your body is reacting to the vaccine to fight the virus. The common side effects after vaccination are pain and swelling on the arm when you got the jab. You also might have fever, tightness, nauseous and headache. You can take medication after vaccination to relieve the minor side effects. These effects might affect your daily activities, but do not worry, they should go away after 2-3 to three days. Some people might not get any side effect, but that doesn't mean the vaccine is infective. Just remember that having side effect after getting vaccination means that the vaccine is working and your body system are just responding to it. First, make sure you have installed the master and register your account to the application on your phone. Open the application in master main screen, tap on COVID-19 vaccination. In this screen, tap on the first option vaccination for your name. Verify your name, IC passport number and telephone number. Tap next and in the next screen, tap on the click here link. Now answer three simple questions and key in your location. You can also use the location finder mark in red. If you have comorbidities, make sure you check them in the list. Then click submit and you're done. The screen will pop up confirming your registration. If you check your registration, simply tap on the vaccine for your name again. As you can see, I registered and submitted my assessment. We hope this was useful for you. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Shazwani. As someone that already took vaccine, I feel so thankful to share this with you guys. To everyone who doesn't take the vaccine yet or don't want to, I want you guys to know that vaccine is not bad as the rumor spread. Also, there is a lot of senior citizens that already took the vaccine. And from website the vaccinecovid.com.my show that many Malaysian people have the awareness to register for the vaccine. Besides that, there is a lot of Malaysian people who spread about the benefits of taking a vaccine. The government also will take action for anyone who spread fake news. I'm pretty sure everyone will get a vaccine as soon as possible. While waiting for our turn, we can quarantine ourselves and only go out if necessary. I also hope for people to stop believing in false information 
and do a research or ask someone who has knowledge about vaccine. Last but not least, please follow the SOP, use hand sanitizer and stay safe everyone.